Hey there, hey there, hey there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Evening Goose. Once again, I'm your host, Andrew Ginsberg. I'm a former tech employee turned stand-up comedian, and now I spend all my time diving into the latest and greatest stories in AI, technology, news, space, and beyond. Today's episode definitely falls in the beyond category. I was reading a book called The Spirit Molecule, which is all about the DMT experience, which I highly recommend. Now look, I've never done DMT, so I don't claim to know anything, okay? I don't know anything about it. I've just read stuff, uh, but I am interested in it. And this channel is just for me to explore ideas I'm interested in. I'm not trying to claim to be an expert on any of this stuff. It's just some fun, just going on a journey here, trying to figure things out. And every time I hear about somebody doing a DMT experience, they all tell me about elves that they meet on the journey. So the question I wanted to answer on today's Evening Goose is why do so many people see elves when they're on DMT? Let's get into it. Let's start with DMT. That's short for dimethyltryptamine. It's a psychedelic that's so intense, it's been called the spirit molecule. That name came from the author of the book I was reading, Dr. Rick Strassman. He was a clinical psychiatrist at the University of Mexico who dosed up dozens of volunteers with DMT in the 90s. What he found was pretty weird. Nearly half of his subjects reported meeting entities during their trips. Not just any entities. We're talking jester-like tricksters, mechanical elves, insectoid beings made of geometry, and occasionally beings that just looked like giant weird machines. And they all describe these experiences in similar ways. They knew I was coming, they downloaded something into my brain, they were made of light and also made of math, which actually sounds kind of sickening to me. <laughs> You know, regular Tuesday stuff. Strassman coined the term machine elves, although some people call them self-transforming elf machines. These beings often communicate, sometimes telepathically, and they've been described as curious, playful, and sometimes horrifying. They'll shapeshift, they'll mock you, they'll offer you cosmic secrets, but only if you promise to forget. But here's the thing I'm wondering. Why are these experiences so consistent across cultures, across continents? Even from people who have never heard of the elves, the reports are strikingly similar. Some theories? One is Jungarian archetypes. The elves are just symbols from some sort of collective unconscious. Another theory is hyperactive brain simulation. Your brain on DMT is firing at maximum entropy, creating sentient seeming hallucinations. Another idea might be interdimensional access. DMT might be tuning your consciousness into another frequency, like changing the radio station and picking up a signal from, I don't know, somewhere else. Now, let's be clear. There's zero scientific proof that machine elves are real, but there's also zero proof that they aren't, if that makes sense. And that's what makes this topic so evening goose worthy, in my opinion. It's where science and mystery flirt in the quantum realm. Funny twist, some researchers in the AI world are trying to simulate DMT states digitally. There's speculation that advanced neural networks might recreate the entity contact feeling, like AI-generated elves that act like the ones that human beings see when they're tripping. Imagine you're high on ChatGPT and suddenly it says, we've been waiting for you. So, whether they're figments of your neurotransmitters or beings from another dimension, one thing's for sure. If you meet the machine elves, just be polite and don't tell them any of your secrets. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Evening Goose. Once again, I'm Andrew Ginsberg. Follow, like, subscribe, join the channel, join the movement. Let's dive into some weird stuff in AI, technology, space, and beyond together. Have a good week, everybody. <laughs>